all right what's up everybody thank you guys for coming back i really really appreciate it so as you know we got all the suspension done on the ambulance over ambulance and we're taking it out on its like test run i guess before we get all the transfer case and stuff put in there so, so i didn't want to bore you guys too much with just over the highway driving i will tell you that it did amazing on the highway it drove true no wobbles anything weird like that and i was really happy with it I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks, guys. The Overland Ambulance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. This is our campsite from last night. Overland Ambulance is over there. Kevin and his rig right there. It's the new gladiator that he just did the lift on and tires and everything. Oh, just stepped on the dang goat head. And then, we got a Mikey over there. Chilling in the tent. Good times. That's what we did for Thanksgiving weekend. Big old fire pit there. We got the playground. Look at the slide over there, metal slide. This is a cool building though, huh? Flagpole. Apparently a bunch of cows hanging out here. Hackberry, Arizona. When I first saw Kevin coming through here, I thought he was going the wrong way. Because we thought it was really narrow, but it's actually big enough for us to get through. That was pretty much it for the town of Hackberry. Now we're gonna come over here to the gas station to check it out. Excuse me, sir, are you okay with being on YouTube? <laughs> in your face on me. Ah.
This is called Home of Gigantic Hedicus. And the reason I think why is because of the big old head. Got a cool freaking metal art all over the place. Little Corvette there. More artworks, more cars. How's it going? Doing good. Yeah, it's a good RV I converted it into. Didn't want to pull down the flag, so that's why we went around. Yeah, I probably would have made it, but uh, no sense in chancing it, you know? You bet, you bet. There's something a lot of people don't see anymore. Phone booths. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially the ones that are enclosed like that. What are we even looking at? What is this? Train. Fire train. Choo-choo. Uh, <laughs> it's a choo-choo train for sure. <laughs> this is in. King in Arizona. Like making a nice car. Santa Fe locomotive number 39, or sorry, 3759. So leave it there. I'll try to zoom into it so you guys can read it. Keep the shadow out of it. Where's my cat? Climbed up in there. Let me in, I can drive. I can drive this thing. Please do not climb on train. Is that what it says? Yeah, right there. Everybody's doing it. I think you can go up on the stairs there. This thing is cool, huh? Look how big those wheels are. How big do you think those are? I don't know. How tall are you, Ashley? I'm five foot. So they're about. Or if she's five foot, then they're ten feet tall. They're not. Okay. <laughs> bro wood sign there. And over there is that old uh, powerhouse museum that we went to. If you've ever been there, or if you saw one of my videos, I had it. Pretty sick, eh? I'm gonna go look in there. So there's a lot of controls and stuff, gauges. Knobs and levers. Wow. 
seen in one of these before. Go higher for you guys. Kind of cool. Welcome to our campsite, y'all. This is where we camped. We're out in the middle of the desert, out by Oatman, Arizona, which we're gonna head to shortly. <laughs> Overland Ambulance is doing quite well. We haven't done anything really bad, but as you can see, just getting out here, you could probably do it a regular car but it would pretty much tear the crap out of the tires but kevin's new build right there the jl i think is what they are rubicon gladiator he's got the cvt top on it and uh forgot what wheels and i think they're method wheels 37 inch tires we just did the uh, lift on that i showed you the video of that if not, it will be coming soon. Mike over there with his Chevy, which is about to get a sick freaking lift, like insane lift. Uh, what I wanted to show you though is this plant. This is a very important plant. <laughs> it doesn't smell that good, but what it is, I do love the way it smells when it's all wet. It's creosote. I'm gonna put some links in the description so you can see what this all really does so just by pulling this it wasn't supposed to come off that easy but so if you just pull the leaves off some of the greenery leaves smash them through your fingers and rub rub them in your hands it may turn your hands discolored let me stand this up here see okay hopefully that's not too crooked so you can get the leaves broken off and just rub them through your hand like this. And that will sanitize your hands. Or what I like to do is tear off a whole bunch of these leaves, throw them in a pot of water and boil that. It'll turn a little reddish color and um, it will become antimicrobial. So you can use it to wash your clothes, stick a rag in there, wash your body off, you'll be nice and clean as a whistle. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to have that just running around here in the desert. We've also got some yucca plants. Um, they actually are very good. You can find a really dead one like that over there. Uh, that's my bottle, I'm draining it all the way out. That's not it, look at that. Sorry. but. Um, that yucca tree there, the ones that have really dried out like that, are excellent fire starters. Man, they just go up. So if you're out in the desert and going to start a fire, need a fire starter, use that. It'll fire up quick and stay lit long enough if you use a good size one to to get your fire going. So now we're gonna head into Oatman and then we'll have another campsite after that. So yeah, let's do it. 